To bring your postgrad cases into TDO, the first step is to register the patient into the software. To do this, click the Register Patient button on the top menu bar. Enter the patient's personal information. All that is required is first and last name. However, you can fill out any additional information that you wish. You can fill in the referring doctor, as well as enter teeth that need to be treated. By entering teeth on this Needing Treatment section, this will add the tooth to the patient's chart. If you don't do the step here, that's okay. You can always add a tooth later once you're in the patient's chart. Once I'm done filling out this form, I'm going to click the Open Patient Record button. And now I am in my patient's chart with my two teeth added that I added on the registration form. If you need to add additional teeth, use the plus button. Or if you need to change a tooth number, you can use this bottom button here to the left of the box. If you wish to transcribe the patient's medical history, testing information, diagnosis, and treatment information into TDO, you are welcome to do so. I'm going to click my medical history summary, and then I can click my medical history button on the left, and that will open up a medical history page for this patient, which I can fill out. My multi-tooth info is my testing information. I can add a tooth, mark that it's vital and I'm testing tooth 3 and then change any data as necessary and you can enter multiple teeth as required. Diagnosis tab. This is your standard diagnosis page. If you wish to fill this out simply click off the items that apply to this tooth. Treatment page and your final report page. The next step is to bring in images. Now you probably have your images stored on a thumb drive or some sort of removable drive. We're going to click our images button on the top toolbar which opens up our image organizer. I like viewing the page in the organized format which means you have two separate panes of information. If you do not see two separate panes, simply click the organize button on the upper left hand corner and that will add your second pane. The top section I like having patient selected so you will see the patient's the pictures for this particular patient. And on the bottom section, you would like to click Files, and that way you can browse through your computer and any drives to find the pictures that you're looking for. I'm going to bring in these pictures from a thumb drive to my current patient's tooth three. I simply click, hold, and drag to bring it up. I can pick my category and my tooth number. Repeat the process for all that I want to bring in. I want to bring multiple ones in, select them all, and drag them up. Once I have all my images in, if I need to rename any of them, if you didn't change the category at the time of bringing them in, you can. Easiest way to do that is to right click on the image, select the proper category, and select move. If you leave it on the copy option, it will create a duplicate of the image in the new category. And there we are. So now it's categorized as pre-op 1. Remember that when you're bringing images into your patient's chart, you're not limited to just x-rays and images. You can bring in PDFs, Excel spreadsheets, PowerPoint presentations, and movies. So when you're presenting your case, it will cycle through these as appropriate. For example, it would show still images, then it would show the movie, then it would show the PDF, then the Excel spreadsheet, then back to the x-rays and still images. Now to do a presentation, you can select individual images you want to use for your slideshow and then click the slideshow selected images or you can automatically do all images in this patient's tooth. When I click the button, it brings up my first image, click my mouse, second image, and as you can see up here, you can bring this image to the draw page if you want to put special emphasis and discuss parts of this picture keep scrolling through with my mouse and when the slideshow is over it takes me back to my image organizer. If you need to end the slideshow before it's over simply hit the escape key on your keyboard. 